Yo, what is up people? It's my own shark, bringing people some more content. So for today's video, I'll be making a video on getting ranked 30 Shelly. Now, um, before we get before we say anything, let's just get into the first match and yeah. Alrighty, first match. Now Shelly's actually a really, really good brawler. This is probably her best meta yet. Like, they buffed a lot of tanks like Daryl and um and Bull. And they made Shelly better by giving her some HP and also spiked some H uh, some damage buff, which means I can counter tanks a lot better in the recent balance changes, which I'm very hyped that like search isn't that good. Because to be honest, I actually really don't mind it if like there's always gonna be a broken brawl. That's always a thing in Brawl Stars, and that's not really a bad thing that there's always gonna be a broken brawl. It's very hard to balance a game, especially that they make the game um longer lasting. Sorry, not longer lasting, but they add more brawls because every single time they add more brawls, say a meta was like all tanks, yeah, and then they bring out a tank killer. Well, like they bring bring out like an insane tank killer that like specializes in tank killing. Well, they automatically are such a good brawl because the meta are tanks. That's the whole meta, and they shut it down. So it's very hard to like balance a brawler on release because. They can dominate against some brawls, but may not dominate against other brawls. Now, Shelly over here doesn't really dominate against any brawls, but tanks. She, speci she, she specializes in attacking and killing tanks very, very well. And I'm glad that there's a tank mana, you know, to help out Shelly and whatnot. And, yeah, so... Next season, I'll actually be grinding for some rank 35s. So, I just want to grind some rank 30s now. I got one rank 35 this season, rank 35 max. But I just want to farm some more rank 35s, because um, I've grinded a ton, and I mean a ton, of rank 30s this season. I've gone on, like, Sprout, Primo, Shelly, and, like, Colt. And when you do 4 and also a rank 35, that's a lot right there. Um, yeah, so let's just see. We've got this Mortis. Uh, we should be able to take this Mortis. I mean, I don't see why not, so... Let's just use our super there. Just, I don't know. I think I panicked. Um, they got a little bit close to killing me. But yeah, Shelly's still so dominant against Morse. So yeah, let's get into the next match. Alrighty, next match. Now, we do spawn by a Mortis again, which is very, very nice. Let's just drop that pin there. Um, yeah, Mortis is actually really good to fight against. And don't know what this Mortis is doing. Maybe he did not see the recent... Balance changes, um, in case you didn't know, Shelly now takes two ammo to dis to get their super. So, if a Morse goes for you, all it takes is two ammo and you can just destroy them. He has to unload three ammo and also unload a gadget, and I'm pretty sure he needs to unload another shot after that anyways. So, yeah, that was a bit silly of that Mortis. Playing very aggro, and we are using the Star Shelly skin, which, if you're not aware of how I got this skin... Um, you had to play before 2019, so your account had to be made before, sorry, in 2018. So, that's why. A few people actually don't know what this skin is. A few people actually never knew that it existed, which is funny, because every now and then you will come across this skin. It's just not really common, because, like, not only a lot of more accounts have been made after that date, you also see less people using it, because it's not that good of a skin. In my opinion, it's really not that cool of a skin. Like, you may think, yo, this is so cool. When you see this skin for like two years straight, it really gets boring. <laughs> and you, you know, you want some variety, and especially that like... What's the brawler called? It's like the other, the Halloween's... The Halloween Shelly skin. I don't remember what it's called. But, yeah, that is a really, really good skin compared to this. Like, it's so, so cool. Um, and this just does not compare. Then again, this is free. But, yeah, tell me your thoughts on the new Colette brawler. She's honestly not that good in my opinion. However, I feel I will say the one thing that I think is good is her super. Her super is amazing because she's the only brawler I believe that does a dash effect as their super that isn't a tank or a close range brawler. I believe there are no other brawlers in the game that does that but her. So I think that's really really cool. A little unique. Um, her her attacks. When I heard of it, I thought like. It would be 
so I think it's like 35% of the HP that you um, do per hit. But I thought it'd be 35% of their total HP. So I thought it would take no matter what brawl, no matter what HP, it would take the same amount of hits. And wow, that was an amazing gadget. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're like a few trophies off. So yeah, let's get into the next game. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to say because I was too focused on talking. Um, I actually did tilt 12, tro 12 trophies. I did tilt uh, 6 trophies because uh, a bull decided on tilting my trophies and his, so he went straight ham, and this nani third partied me. It's like this, I got low, and then I had to run away, and then this bull for some reason dashed into me. We got each other both so low, and this nani just killed both of us. And he was losing like one trophy, and I was losing six. <laughs> so, yeah, that's kind of rough. But anyways, uh, what was I saying? I think I was talking about Colette. Yeah, so Colette, the thing about her is I thought that it would do 35% of the total HP. So I thought whether it's a Tick or an El Primo, it'll still take four shots to kill them. No, it actually goes off what their HP is currently. So if they have 3,000 HP and you get them down to 1,000 um, HP, it's still going to do the... It's going to do different damage. And I don't like that at all. I don't think that's cool. I... I feel like it's going to take so many shots to kill anybody. Like, I don't know if they'll be in good in source. Hopefully, they can buff her in the future. But um, we've got this Shelly. Sorry, Shelly. We've got this M's. Um, right, okay. Five people remaining. But, um, yeah. This is, like, looking pretty... We're in a pretty good spot right now. We just need one more person to die. That will be good. Um... Let's just see what can happen. Oh, by the way, in this map, I don't believe there's any modifiers. Oh, wait, no, sorry. There is the Angry Robo. The Angry Robo isn't actually that bad. Like, I actually really just like energy drinks. It's so, so annoying. Because the, problem about, the thing about Ro the Robo boss is once you get to a certain amount of power cubes, the Robo, like the Angry Boss, legit, you can just shoot it and kill it and destroy it so fast. But the problem about an energy drink is that, like, you can be, like, 10 power cubes... And, like, a one power cube, like, Nani gets an energy drink and just shuts down everything. And, oh my goodness, I am actually so impressed that actually clipped me. Wow. But, hey, yes, actually, I just realized, I think we got it. Yeah, yeah, we got it, yeah? Oh, nice. Let's freaking go. Um, yeah, just had to double check that we got it because once it actually idled me out and it didn't give me the trophies. But that is going to wrap up today's video. Have a good one.